Hello everyone. Hello. Welcome. This is a collective message. This is for anyone who resonates with my energy as a healer. I am here to help clarify some different confusions that you have going on right now as you continue along your divine path. Welcome. Um, I'm excited to be here. I'm also in a new kind of energy recently. I've gone through a lot of different activations and I've had a lot of clarity in terms of where I need to go next um, as a healer. So yeah, I'm really excited to just give some reading, give some clarification. I'm very excited also just to continue on my quest to help balance the energies of the world in terms of chaos, in terms of light and darkness, what you can handle in clarifying what you can't handle right now. So that's what we're gonna be talking about is what you cannot handle. So we're starting with the Page of Cups And then we have the Ace of Wands. So this is in terms of a new kind of mindset, but with emotions. There is something in terms of emotions that need to be released for you to move forward. And it's almost as if you're looking to an outside aid as to how to release it. So the outside aid has the um, attachment of the King of Cups that very much so way to discern your emotions in terms of choices. So it's like you're deciding like, is that emotion really worth me kind of choosing to go with it or be led on by it? Um, yeah. So it's more so looking at your terms of how you can graduate into going out and using what you know about discernment. I would say more than anything, something about being less patient came forth. So that is something to work on, is learning how you can find patience with where you're at right now. Because it's really hard in terms of understanding your emotions, how to let go of what you feel like could be, but it, you don't know for sure. So you're like, okay, do I sp want to spend so much time just thinking about this or do I, do I want to release it, you know? So learning how to release what you feel like in terms of emotions will kind of like lead you down a path where you've already been before and you've been managing a lot of like getting control again. So it is something like basically you've made these mistakes before and now you're just realizing in the areas of the mistakes how you can find balance but with understanding your emotions one-on-one -on -one. so it's those emotions tied with fear so one really cool way to find a way to like at least come to terms with your fear, which is something that, um, how would I put this? It's something that will help you be able to decide. Oh boy, okay, hold on. We have the world, queen of wands, the lovers, and the magician. Like, can I just say decide? <laughs> Like, it's definitely something about deciding, but on a very emotional, divine, like, it's like a divine emotions or, like, 
kind of like the state where you want to be at to reach your divine path. Oh my gosh. What just came through my mind was I'm watching uh, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z. And Goku was going on the dragon's path to get to, I think, King Kai's uh, kind of palace or whatever. So what reminded me of that is just kind of the path of your divine path. And it's like you're finally able to reach that in terms of it, in terms of understanding what it is, but really understanding is through your understanding of, hold on, I'm trying to think. Mm. It's your understanding of how to balance what is working and what isn't working. Kind of like when you get off track, it's like you're learning how to not berate yourself. You're learning how to actually appreciate yourself. Yo, that's it. Learning how to appreciate yourself is so valid in terms of just like self-esteem, in terms of confidence, where you can just support yourself if you don't have anyone else to support you and encourage yourself on in terms of that, like being able to truly, like with every single emotion you feel, you're just like, hey, I appreciate that I feel this right now. You know, because everything that you feel, like every emotion that you feel, it's some kind of like moment in time, right? Your time. And when it's, you're able to like appreciate, like seriously, what has led you up to right now, especially like in the near past, let's say in a month ago, how much you've grown in terms of yourself and like your divine path. You're able to really, really, really just ground yourself to the present ground yourself to the present which is one of the most amazing things that you could ever do for yourself in terms of it you'll be able to find the true strength within who you are the authenticity of you which is really awesome okay so what else what else this is a star seed oracle deck um, yeah, I'm just kind of like going through a lot of profound things, <laughs> like, whoa, realizations, profound star brothers, worse energy, protection, loyalty, safety, trust. So one thing about this is that you can really emphasize letting go is by trusting the unknown every time that you choose to just let something go like literally something that makes you angry you're just like whatever it's not important right now and choose to focus on the present moment matter yo mm -mm. that's a way to show that you're trusting what you're doing to yourself to everything else i remember soul plan the faded life versus the destiny life i remember that's interesting this really reminds me of talking about like past lives or talking about things maybe in the previous no oh my gosh this totally is talking about in terms of the past, in terms of what happened in the past, learning how to truly let go of it because it's allowing yourself to get sucked back there and you're not able to get back to the present, which it's kind of like the faded life versus the destiny life. The faded life is more the version of acceptance of like what was and the destiny life is also like looking beyond so it's kind of like choosing to look 
kind of at both ways of like acceptance of what was but also what is going to be beyond and seeing the point of both yeah so now I'm going to pull a past present and future card and I'm going to close off this message I hope that it's uh, helped so far I'm hoping we have wheel of fortune for past so you're really focusing in the near past at least now I talk about near past okay so like within like the week uh, you are choosing to focus on your choices really looking at those seeing how they affect you in terms of it let's get a descriptor card of it so it's more so looking at the choices of where you're giving too much to others and not too much to you so it's looking at where you can give more to yourself in terms of that mm. more towards what you feel like doing in terms of gaining strength with your mindset um so i'm getting grounding i'm getting grounding at uh, the present moment, let's get a card for that one, please. We have the Six of Cups, which is very much so giving to your past self in recognition and ownership and appreciation, aware awareness of what really happened, but like looking back, you know, but with the present, present tense, tense, like I don't know scope I guess like glass I don't know spy finder I don't know anyway uh, and it's the five of swords so this is something about where you've kind of given to a point where it, it was too you basically submitted what you your beliefs are to help out the rest of the team so that is the present, which is what you're currently like working on, focusing on, which is the inner child, kind of learning how more so to give to yourself in terms of emotional support, more than the support of backing up other people in terms of their beliefs. Basically, if they can show it, they can own it. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> the future nine of cups. I will live to get a descriptor of this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm getting like an inner knowing is like this idea that you've been cooking up. Okay, hold on. I'm getting a little out of hand. Sometimes I just flip and flip and I'm like, whoa. So it's the nine of cups for future. And then the knight of swords. We have the Five of Pentacles, and we have the Tower, and the Nine of Cups. So, in the future, what is to come is more so than anything, I'm getting the sense of community reaching out and areas where you've had I don't know how to explain this. It's like kind of like this area of, you know that you could reach out, but there's some kind of hesitancy in terms of like holding back. Like you kind of like physically avoid it in terms of it when it comes to it. You're like basically busying yourself in other ways instead of just meeting it head on. So to get through this, what you're going to need to do in terms of this in the future when it does come, we have the four of swords and we have the eight of swords. So basically giving rest to what is not working right now and allowing yourself to just be in the present moment and focus more on appreciating what you have built, you know, in the, since the beginning of the year, 
of 2023. So let's, let me see what this is. All right, we're going to see what you've built since the beginning of 2023, because I'm curious. And then I'm gonna wrap this up. Okay, what you've built in the year of 2023. We have weight of the world, boundaries, let it go, it's not yours to carry. So what you have built is the resistance to carry more than what really is for you. You've built up ways where you can allow yourself to say no and to back yourself up and to have confidence in yourself to a point where you prove that you know <clears throat> what isn't for you isn't for you and you know it you trust your gut and you said no and setting boundaries is a great way to support yourself in terms of knowing what is kind of for your greater good and what isn't for your greater good so that is the end of the video i appreciate everything in terms of your presence your energy your dedication towards just continuing on with this beautiful life. My name is Leah. I am a light worker, a healer, and I am a supporter of those who go out and make their dreams come true because you inspire me. I get so many kind of different ideas of what I can do in terms of making my life even more divinely greater. If that's possible, I believe it is. Anyway, so until next time, I will see you next time. Um, stay grounded, friends, as much as you can. Bye, everyone.